as the final roster cut approaches. Will Tom Kennedy and Craig Reynolds be on his team? Did you realize that you were a champion in their eyes? Hello, everyone. My name is Derek. Welcome back to the Gridiron Blitz. This channel is predominantly Detroit Lions videos. We do one live stream a week for the Detroit Lions, and then we do three other football games, all the primetime games. So if you are a fan of the Detroit Lions or the National Football League or both, then give me a subscription. I would appreciate that. On Tuesday, August 24th, the Detroit Lions will cut their roster from a 85-man roster to an 80-man roster. The 31st of August, after the final preseason game, the Detroit Lions will have to cut from 80 to 53. 27 men will have to get cut. And two of those people that are on the chopping block, unfortunately for me, because I like these guys, are wide receiver Tom Kennedy and newly acquired running back Craig Reynolds. According to Dan Campbell's presser Monday morning, when it comes down to making this team, it's not necessarily about the talent that you have or the name that you carry. It's more about him and the team being able to trust you. And they, it was said by him that he right now trusts wide receiver Tom Kennedy. When it comes to newly acquired running back Craig Reynolds, he needs to see a little bit more. And that's got me thinking, will both neither or either or make this team? So if I had to go out on a limb, I'm going to say right now that Tom Kennedy will be the Lions' sixth receiver. The Lions will carry six as they did last year, and Tom Kennedy will also play a role on special teams. So the Detroit Lions will keep six wide receivers, and Tom Kennedy will make this team as number six. When it comes to the running back position, you have DeAndre Swift, Jamal Williams, you also have Jamar Jefferson, and Craig Reynolds. I would love for Craig Reynolds to make this team. He has shown in the previous two preseason games that he knows how to run. He will always get positive yardage, and he's got a chip on his shoulder. Those are, are things that Dan Campbell was looking for from the very beginning. The issue is fitting him in. Can he beat out Jamar Jefferson? Right now, we haven't seen enough of Jamar Jefferson, in my opinion, to justify him winning and beating Craig Reynolds. But according to Dan Campbell, he needs to see a little more from Craig Reynolds. Now, if Craig can fit in on special teams and really ball out in this last preseason game, I think he makes the team. If he can have a performance like he had preseason game one and preseason game two, then in my opinion, that he will be a person to make the team. Maybe cut Jelani Tavai in order to make room for a Craig Reynolds. Now, in my opinion, 13 of the roster spots will be six wide receivers, three quarterbacks, and four running backs. All right, now, obviously, we have cuts coming up from other teams as well, and there could be even more people that don't make this team because we need to cut them and pick up somebody else who gets cut from another team. So we've got cuts from all around the league coming up, so this could change at any moment. Here are my six projected wide receivers as of this moment for the Detroit Lions. I think Tom Kennedy will make this team as the sixth wide receiver. He will also double up on kick return and special team duties. Now, we're not taking one to the house. I also think Terrell Williams makes this team, Rashard Perriman, Raymond, Quintez Cephas, and St. Brown. I think Bolden, Jennings, McKinley, Ratley, and Surratt do not make the active roster. Now, a couple of those guys could go on the practice squad. We can carry 16 guys on our practice squad. So, in essence... We don't really have to necessarily cut. After we cut the 27, we could put some on the practice squad. I think Sage has a, uh, a really good chance to be on the practice squad, but for him to make the active roster, I really don't think so. Now, McKinley, that's a tough one. He, he's played well at times. He reminds me a little bit of Marvin Hall, but I think that those are the five receivers that don't make the active roster, and I think that the surprise uh, addition to that 53-man roster will be Tom Kennedy. Now, when it comes to Greg Reynolds, I would be devastated if we don't sign this guy, and I don't think that he's going to last on the practice squad. I think from what other teams have seen who are in need of a number two or maybe number three running back, especially if he balls out in his last preseason game, he will find life on another team. I just hope that we decide to keep him, and I, I will really see. I think Jefferson and Reynolds are going to battle it out. Now, I would love for them to play the whole game. Just let them play the whole game, running back one and two. And then one of those guys, if not both, I really think that the Detroit Lions could carry four. They could carry four running backs. They've done it before. 
Uh, so six wide receivers, four running backs, and three quarterbacks. It is a chance that both of these guys make the active roster. There's a lot of holes that need filling. We may need some safety help and some linebacker help. We definitely need help in those two areas. So I don't know yet. And like I said earlier, there are teams that are going to cut players that we probably will look at, and then that won't make room for these guys. So anyway, leave it in the comments below. What do you feel about uh, Craig Reynolds? What do you feel about Tom Kennedy? What do you feel about my prediction for the six wide receivers? Leave me your prediction in the comments below. My name is Derek. This is the Gridiron Blitz. Do me a favor. If you like Detroit Lions content, after you subscribe, hit that notification bell, set it to all. If you just like the NFL content, the NFL streams, just personalize those settings so you will only be notified of the stuff that you watch. That would help my channel out tremendously. I need more interactivity on this channel so we can kind of bust in and pick up some steam. Leave it in the comments below. You guys are awesome, and I'll catch you in the next video.